What is the purpose of life? Regardless of faith, culture or presuppositions, most will actively think about this question during their lives. To discover purpose, we must seek to understand our worldview. What is a worldview? Simply put, a worldview is the way in which we view the world. Whether we are aware of it or not, every person has formed beliefs about how they view the world and where God and the meaning of life align with these views. So what contributes to our worldview? Well, everything that we see and hear contributes to our worldview. History, nature, personal characteristics, where we live, community, actions and interactions, culture, books and authors, family traditions, relationships with others, media, circumstances that we face, teachers, everything that we see and hear contributes to our worldview. James Thayer says, a worldview is a commitment, a fundamental orientation of the heart that can be expressed as a story in a set of presuppositions, assumptions, which may be true, partially true, or entirely false, that we hold consciously or subconsciously, consistently or inconsistently, about the basic constitution of reality that provides the foundation on which we live and move and have our being. As Christians, we believe that the purpose of life is embedded within our identity in God and comes from God alone. Who is God to a Christian? We see throughout scripture that God is all-knowing, all-loving, sovereign, that he is good and that he alone created and sustains all of creation. As Christians, we believe in God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit as the one triune God. He is the all-powerful and immeasurable God of relationship who is revealed to us through the Bible and who is active in the lives of humans as told through God's story. God's story, creation. Through the creation story, we see that no one created God. Instead, in him and through him, all things were made. That we are made in the image of God, set apart from the rest of creation, created with a unique purpose, a purpose to live in a relationship with God. Fall. God created humans with the desire to live in a relationship with them. However, he also gave each of us the ability and freedom to make our own choices. Everything was good with no sin, pain or suffering. God gave Adam and Eve only one limitation. They had a choice to follow God's direction or choose to disobey their creator. They chose to eat the fruit that God had told them not to. This disobedience broke the foundations of the relationship they had with God. The first sin of humans had entered the world, leading to what scripture refers to as the fall. It also says every human has sinned, which comes at a price. That price is death. Redemption. Thankfully, God did not want us to remain separated from him. As he is omniscient, he knew that we could not live up to his glory. Therefore, he had a plan to come to earth as Jesus to defeat death and sin. Restoration. God's infinite power is shown through him coming to earth as Jesus to die and rise again so that anyone who chooses to accept him as their Lord and Saviour can receive the gift of salvation. Because of the restoration work that Jesus did on the cross, defeating sin and death, we can once again live in a relationship with God. Why is understanding our worldview important? Every thought, action and interaction stems from how we view the world. This helps us to understand our thoughts and actions and allows us to be more compassionate to others as we recognise that we each have a worldview. If we are to know God and where to find the purpose of life, it is essential to understand his story and plan for creation through a Christian worldview. 
Finding purpose begins with understanding God's story and his plan for creation. Through a relationship with him, purpose is discovered. As we grow deeper in our relationship with God, through encounters and revelations, we begin to see and understand God's loving character. We begin to discover our identity in him, further purposes and callings he has for each of our individual lives. This purpose can only be found through knowing our identity in God. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29 11. As we outwork a Christian worldview in our personal lives, loving God, worshipping Him, living a life according to Scripture, and showing we are passionate in our relationship with God, children are observing, shaping their own worldview of who God is. Knowing how we view the world allows us to teach others about God from a Christian worldview. This is essential within every children's ministry. Barnard's research shows how important it is to teach about God from a young age as the probability of accepting Christ as their saviour significantly reduces after a child turns 12 years old. Through hearing and learning about God from a Christian perspective, we are helping to shape children's worldview so that children may too know they are created by God and have a special purpose in life, helping to increase the probability of accepting Christ as their Lord and Saviour. As children's ministry leaders, it is important that we understand Christian worldview as we have the incredible opportunity to teach our young people what their purpose is within life. What is the purpose of life? We are created to live in a relationship with God.